Welcome back artists. Today we are going to paint a cover, a paper that is going to become the cover of our sketchbook. So when you look at this, notice how I used red, white, and silver, and they mix to create all the different pinks. And we're going to be using a tool to get that different texture. So we're going to do one full paper. We'll be cutting it in half and having using it for the front and the back of our sketchbook. The first thing you're going to want to do is write your name on your paper and the period, the class period that you have class. I'm circling a one to indicate that I'm in first period. Then I'm going to flip over my paper. I have my, I have my color choices already. I want to do, I want to create a green, so I'm going to use yellow and blue to mix it, to mix it. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to sort of draw a little bit with the color itself and I also know that I need a lot more yellow than I need blue so I'm going to be a little bit easier on the blue. Then I'm going to grab a tool. We have a bunch of choices. This is one tool. Here are a couple of others. I'm going to use this green one. And I'm going to use this tool to actually move the paint around on my paper. So I'm sort of mixing it with the tool. Now you want to get it pretty close to the edge of the paper but it doesn't have to go all the way to the edge. And it's also okay to have some white areas. You want to be careful though to not mix too much so that it seems to all look the same. The nice thing about the color is that the blue and the yellow sort of stain the paper a little bit. So you have that as well. Now my final option here and it's an option, it's not something you have to do, is to add some metallic to the top. So now that I have most of it mixed and covered, I'm going to add just a little bit of gold here and there. And then I'm going to go back with my tool and I'm going to move that around as well. The other thing that's kind of fun with these tools is that you can create a pattern. So if I wanted to, I could create like a circle and just go all the way around. Maybe I do another one over here. Maybe I do another one over here. Maybe I do one here. So I can create a pattern on my paper as well. And then when I'm happy with it, I'm going to take it over to the drying rack and I'm going to make sure I wash off my tool in my hands and my space if necessary.